वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मोहम्मद नवीद एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एग्जांपल ऑफ अ मीट्रिक स्पेस व्हिच इज बेसिकली डिस्क्रीट और ट्रिवियल मीट्रिक लेट एक्स बी अ नॉन एम्प्टी सेट डिफाइन डी फ्रॉम एक्स क्रॉस एक्स टू आर बाय डी ऑफ एक्स वाई इक्वल टू जीरो इफ एक्स इक्वल टू वाई एंड डी ऑफ x y equal to one if x is not equal to y for all x y belongs to x then d is a metric on x this metric is called a discrete metric for example if we take three point x y and z three point as vertices of an equilateral triangle if this point is x y and z if distance of x and y is equal to 1 if this is a an equilateral triangle then distance of y z is also equal to 1 and distance of x z is also equal to 1 so in this case if x is not equal to y then and d of x y equal to 0 and when x is equal to y for same point d of x x x comma x equal to 0 d of uh, z comma z equal to 0 and d of uh, y comma y is equal to 0 for same points distance is equal to 0 and for uh, two different points distance is equal to 1 so this metric is called a discrete uh, metric now we uh, prove that this is a metric that is this uh, relation satisfies all the condition of a uh, metric space the first condition is m1 uh, which is d of x y is greater than or equal to 0 as d of x uh, y is equal to 0 there are only two possibility d of x y equal to 0 or d of x y equal to 1 or d of x y is equal to 1 so we can write which implies d of x y is a greater than or equal to 0 by combining these two equation we can write it as d of x y is greater than or equal to 0 for all x y belongs to x so first condition of metric space is satisfied now we check second condition m2 for this let we take d of x y equal to 0 then we prove that x is equal to y as given that when d of x y is equal to 0 then x is equal to y so when d of x y equal to 0 which implies x is equal to y since given now this condition is satisfied as given in uh, the definition of this relation now we test third condition m3 which is symmetric property for this we prove that d of x y is equal to d of y x as d of x y is equal to 0 if x is equal to y and d of x y is equal to 1 if x is not equal to y now we can write it as d of x y equal to 0 when if y is equal to x x equal to y can be written as y equal to x and d of x y equal to 1 if x not equal to y can be written as y not equal to x if this relation is equal to d of x y then definitely this second relation is equal to d of 
y x we can write it as d of y x which implies d of x y is equal to d of y x for all x y belongs to x now we test a uh, last condition m4 which is a triangular inequality we prove that for all x y z belongs to x for all x y z belongs to x we prove that d of x y and d of x z is less than or equal to d of x y plus d of y z now we consider two cases case 1 now there are only two possibility uh, that is d of x z is equal to 0 or d of x and z equal to 1 so case in case 1 we take let d of x y uh, d of x z is equal to 0 now we can write as as d of x y is greater than or equal to 0 and d of y z is also greater than or equal to 0 by combining these two equations we can write which implies d of x y plus d of y z is greater than or equal to 0 we can also write it as which implies a 0 is less than or equal to d of x y plus d of y z by putting value of d of x z which is equal to 1 uh, equal to 0 we can write it as which implies d of x z is less than or equal to d of x y plus d of y z so we have proved triangular inequality for the case when d of x and z is equal to 0 now we discuss second case when d of x z is not equal to 0 case 2 the second uh, possibility is d of x z if d of x and z is equal to 1 d of x and z is equal to 1 now again we prove that d of x z is less than or equal to d of x y plus d of y z now there are three possibilities for d of x y plus d of y z that is d of x y plus d of y z can be equal to zero this relation can be equal to one when one of these two relation is zero and other is one and the last possibility is when both the values is equal to one then d of x y plus d of y z is equal to two so we discuss uh, three cases for d of x y plus d of y uh, z now when d of x y plus d of y z is equal to 0 as if d of x z equal to 1 from here we can write as x is not equal to z by definition of this metric when x is not equal to z then uh, z then d of x z is equal to 1 now when d of x y plus d of y z equal to 0 which is our first case this is only possible when both d of x y is equal to 0 and d of y z is equal to 0 this relation is equal to 0 
if and only if d of x y equal to 0 and d of y z equal to 0 which implies now d of x y equal to 0 implies x is equal to y and d of y z equal to 0 implies y is equal to z by combining these two equations we can write it as which implies x is equal to z but we have supposed that x is not equal to z so this is a contradiction which is a contradiction which is a contradiction now this contradiction arises due to our wrong supposition that is d of x y plus d of y z equal to 0 which implies we can write it as d of x y plus d of y z is not equal to 0. So this possibility of d of x y plus d of y z equal to 0 now this is not possible now we discuss the other two cases for which this value equal to z uh, 1 or this value is equal to 2 which implies now there are only two possibilities the first possibility is now d of x y plus d of y z is equal to 1 or d of x y plus d of y z equal to 2 only two uh, possibilities are that is d of x y plus d of y z equal to 1 or d of x y plus d of y z is equal to 2 as d of x z is equal to 1 so we can write it as which implies d of x y plus d of y z we can write it as this is greater than or equal to 1 d of x y plus d of y z is either this value equal to 0 or equal to 1 or 2 so we can write it as d of x y plus d of y z is greater than or equal to 1 by combining these two equations from here we can write which implies d of x y plus d of y z is greater than or equal to d of x z the reason is d of x z is equal to 1 now we can write it as d of x z by writing this side first d of x z is less than or equal to d of x y plus d of y z so again triangular inequality is satisfied for second case when d of x and z is equal to 1 which implies which implies d is a metric on x d is a metric on x and this uh, metric is called discrete or trivial metric or we can write it as which implies x d is a, a metric space metric space uh, which is also called trivial or and discrete metric space i hope you like this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you very much for watching this video